Hey everyone, welcome back to How to Be a Poser. Today we're going to create interaction using body language and direction in order to apply a relationship between two characters in your display. To do that, we're going to use the six scale figure set of Ray and BBA by Hot Toys. Let's get started. Okay, here she is. This is Ray from Hot Toys. Just the way that she's going to come to you and look at all this stuff. I, it's very rare these days that you see this many accessories come with a six scale figure. Not only that, but this version of the Ray six scale figure comes with BB-8. And at this time, this is the only way that you're going to be able to get a six scale version of BB-8 from Hot Toys. We're going to be using Ray by herself, no additional accessories with the hands that she comes with and BB-8 by himself for what we're going to be doing. So let's get started. Starting with this pose. This stand is going to be crucial because it comes with this really awesome base topper, Jakku Desert themed, that slides over the top and has a nice little concaved area here for BB-8. This is where we're gonna put BB-8. BB-8 is magnetized. The ball will roll whichever way you like and you can just put this head anywhere on top of this figure. But before we do that, there are two antennae that you have to place on. One short, one long. The short one goes up here in the front and the back one right there in the back. And then once you do that, the head's ready to go on the body. And then once you've got that established, just set it up here for now. He's got a nice little concave area on this base for him to rest. Okay, then let's work with Ray. For this pose, what I have in mind, I want her to be kneeling next to him as if she's repl just finished replacing his bent antenna the way that she did. With that in mind, I'm gonna bring one leg forward, preferably the back leg. Now, when you do that, the knee joint is exposed. That's a bit unsightly. So you're just gonna to have to work with these pants to draw the bottom edge of the pants down over that knee joint. Now, if you can't, I'm not able to quite get that over, but fortunately she comes with these great little tabards here. Get this knee, have her lean forward a little bit. Something you want to watch out for is that when you're doing a kneeling pose, these feet sometimes want to kick out to the side. That looks awkward, that looks painful even. So just make sure that that toe is on the ground. In addition to looking more natural, it actually provides a more stable support for the figure so that it doesn't topple. Okay, and when you're trying to place the character on the base, you can have her foot back here on the sand next to BB-8. That'll have the dual effect of getting her closer to him and providing a better sense of interaction. It also has the benefit of hiding that unsightly knee joint that we talked about. Then again, to correct because the front foot is now elevated a little bit, you're gonna have to move her body forward even more than it was. Yeah, I like what I'm seeing there. So let's just have her reaching out to him, not quite touching him. She doesn't need to be touching him, just the intent needs to be implied there. We're gonna tweak that in a little bit here, but I wanna move over to BB-8 a little bit here because he needs to be interacting with her just as much as she's interacting with him. So let's turn that head. Now just tweaking this, tweaking the fine details of this a little bit. I'm gonna move her, this back leg out just a touch, sitting down on the back of her foot there almost, just to imply a little bit more relaxation on her part. I'm bringing this hand down and sort of just really lightly resting it on her thigh there. If your line of sight is flat, you kind of want to get this hand just to barely be cresting over the top of BB-8's head. Furthermore, I think that you need to pay special attention to her head, the tilt of her head. Just provide a nice little thoughtful tilt to it like she's seriously considering what's wrong with this dude. Again, just as with her, I've tilted BB-8's head here just a little bit. This is really cool, but in order to get the full effect, you're just going to have to turn on BB-8's lights. So in order to get that, you need to yeah, unscrew the door here at the bottom. Two batteries, two button cells. All right, voila. Sometimes you're better off using tweezers to do this, but this head is highly magnetized and that's gonna really mess everything up. Place the door, drop in your tiny little screw. Here's your switch. Boom, look at that. And there you go. This scene really established a strong relationship between the two characters. And it's a powerful one that evolves throughout the course of the film. 
there are so many opportunities with these with these figures for you to represent the relationship between Ray and BB-8. There will always be at least one more pose for you to hit. <laughs>